My name is Muhammad Jabber. And you had a vision to make a film? Well, in the beginning, I had uh, a desire to write a book, and the book escalated into a film. We was actually getting ready to do a documentary, but uh, the dynamics and the highlights of the movie you know, dictated that we do a docudrama. So that's where we at. So what is this project? Well, actually, it's a historical project. Um, it stemmed from my visit in Egypt. I was there as a student, and uh, I encountered a lot of uh, Americans, uh, students from the UK, France, and during our spare time, we would talk about uh, the evolution of Islam in America. And I would begin to cite dates and events and circumstances that happened that was really uh, relative to Islamic development here, and they had no idea about it. So the concern was that I document this and, uh, you know, so that you know, the upcoming generation will have access to it. Uh, I had written a book 20 years prior called The Early Presence of Islam in America, but I lost it through shuffling around, you know, and um, I committed myself to write the book. And uh, I went in my apartment that night and I sit down and I started typing on my computer. And I was writing without a title, number one. Um, and, uh, and I realized that about 70% of the materials that I was regurgitating, I had experienced them or I knew people that were you know, uh, the key pioneers. And I come through that, you know, that, that generation. And, uh, I changed the direction of writing a historical treatise into an autobiography for my life because I felt I could be the best witness. So, how long has it been since you started thinking about making this film to you actually getting to the point where you're actually making footage? Wow. Um, I, I wrote the book two years ago. Um, got a lot of calls, a lot of positive uh, comments on it, and um, I was encouraged to uh, make this a documentary. And I started writing some, some, some notes and I was trying to get people to interview me and, and from that, you know, by them viewing the materials, they thought that we could do something uh, more with it. So I say September was when I actually started uh, 2013, started pursuing uh, actually the movie. I, it took me three months to write the uh, screenplay and I started searching for uh, a film company that could actually uh, enhance or grasp or uh, project my vision on screen. So, after all of this time, and you're here today and you've been filming for a couple of days, what's your thoughts? It's more than I expected. <laughs> um, and one thing that I, I have to say is that I've had a committed cast. And to fill in those gaps of, of, uh, of uh, nostalgia and lack of audacity, we, we, we uh, did rehearsals. We did rehearsals. And uh, until we got to this point, and uh, I had been interviewed by a, a couple of film companies. Um, I didn't like uh, the way they was wanted to project it. You know, uh, one company wanted to take it and change it around. Uh, one company actually thought that they knew more about my life and the history of Islam in America than I did, so I, I went away from them. And you know, as a Muslim, I don't believe in coincidence, incidents, or accidents. I believe that everything is decreed, and uh, and that brought me in contact with Kotlu Films. Um, when I first heard about Kotlu Films, I immediately went to the internet. I began to look at some of their uh, byproducts, some of their clippings on YouTube, and uh, I was uh, convinced that they could, you know, do the movie. Uh, I was a little hesitant because I had kind of like put the cart before the horse. Uh, I was trying to seek funding for this movie, and one of the biggest questions would be, who's going to shoot the movie? <laughs> and uh, it was a very intense. Uh, issue. I remember sitting in front of one of the uh, potential uh, investors and the question came up who's going to shoot the movie and I said Cotton Blue Films and he opened his computer up and said do they have anything online and they searched out Cotton Blue Films and they looked at me 
and say, I think he can shoot the film. And immediately I, I, my confidence level, you know, rose and I began to pursue, you know, contracting Katlu and had a meeting and now we're on the set. Well, what I want to understand is, and, and, and we appreciate that, but what I want to understand is, is how you feel in, you know, actually seeing these scenes that you put to head together in your mind. Mm -hmm. um, some things that stick out in my head, classroom. You know, that's just a, an amazing thing. You got all these kids here. You got an interracial cast. Mm -hmm. You're portraying something that happened that's a real piece of history in America, yeah. but then it's a real piece of your history and your life. So what, how does that make you emotionally feel and you're inside you to see that come to life? I mean, mm -hmm. where does that put you? Well, you know, um these highlights that are being uh, cast in the film are memories that can never go away. Uh, they, these are the memories that shape me, uh, memories that uh, I reflect on. Uh, they never go away. So when I see these uh, 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 events or episodes coming up in film, it's like I'm right inside of it. You know, it's like I'm really reliving that. You know, and uh, and uh, some of them are very emotional. You know. Uh, my birth, you know, I'm not, I was not, you know, cognizant enough to know who, when I was born, but at least I could, you know, see how my mother uh, was reacting, you know, the, 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 the pain, and the, you know, and the, uh, you know, the hurt, but the love that was coupled with that for the child and, and that bond, you know, and uh, so it just, you know, my father, you know, coming up, you know, and, and out of the, you know, out of the blue. Uh, these type of memories are, 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 are essential and they are eternal and uh, this is what I want to see on the film. Well, at the conclusion of this film, and, and, and finish and get it done, what do you see happening with this film? What do you, what do you, what's your vision for the future of this film? Um, you know, um, in my line of work, I am a, uh, uh, I worked as a Muslim clergy I, I worked in government, uh, uh, activists, uh, I, uh, and uh, I've been on the front lines defending the integrity and the honor of the Muslims for many years. Uh, and what I want to see come from this film, uh, as a result of this film, is that the society will be able to acknowledge uh, that Muslims have been an intricate part of the American society from the very inception, before the framing of the Constitution in 1776, that we are human beings, that we are approachable. We have feelings, we have families, uh, we love and we cry and things of this nature. And I think that it would show that first me being a person of color, you know, being uh, challenged with all the racism in my early years, and second, being a Muslim, being, uh, you know, uh, uh, profiled with Islamophobia, you know, a social anxiety that, that, that profile Muslims are being you know, detrimental uh, to the society. I think that this movie will lift at least a certain degree of that and they will see the humanity in, in the Muslims and that we have faced the same challenges that any other American. So if you were to just simply say to that person that you know, may see an interview and if you were going to give them a message to, to ask them to come see this film, what would you say to that person? I would say to that person, have an open mind. You know? And if you have an open mind, that raises your level of tolerance. And when you can tolerate differences, then you can respect one another. And that's what I would say to that.